all right welcome back to another video so as you all know or hopefully should know arcane Odyssey just dropped today and this is gonna be a day one beginner's guide this game is pretty complex because it has so much stuff to do like bounty hunting and you can even cook in this game so that's pretty interesting and this game also has plans you can make and conquer islands and stuff so i'm basically gonna be covering how to level up fast mainly and what you should be doing on your first day on arcane Odyssey in general You'll figure out how the game works as you just play the game and without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so when it comes to game passes for Arkane Odyssey, you really don't need any of these game passes at all. You're gonna be fine without them, but if you do wanna buy any of these, then Extra Files is gonna be your best bet for sure. Because this basically gives you 3 extra file slots. Which is kinda useful I guess, So, and these other ones are pretty useless because all they give you is cosmetic stuff. Anyways, let's just get right into the game. Alright, so once you make your avatar, you're gonna have the option to choose a magic. Now you can choose any magic, doesn't really matter. All these are pretty good. I would say... Try not to go for crystal. And yeah, besides crystal, all the ones are pretty good, solid. So just pick what you want me personally i think i'm gonna have to go with shadow shadow or you can also see their stars and their color variants here hi right, once you're done talking to this guy over here called modin which is basically like the guy who gives you the tutorial you're gonna have to go to that island over there which is 800 meters away but before we do any of that i'm gonna talk about builds and what stars do Now before we get started with leveling and other stuff, I'm quickly gonna go over your potential build options real quick. This game Loki has so many different build options so you have a lot of options to go for it. So before we even get into builds, we gotta talk about what stats do. So each time you level up, you get 3 stat points. So as we all know, max level is 125 so in total we're gonna have 375 stat points. Now, what should you put these stat points into? Well, it actually depends on the build you're going for. So let's go over what each stat does individually first. First up, we have Vitality. Vitality increases your max health, but in return, it's slightly gonna reduce your damage output. And you also get access to spare weapons later on in the game, but that's not in the game right now, so putting your points into Vitality isn't really recommended right now. Next up, we got Magic, Strength, and Weapons. These three are gonna be your main three stats you're gonna want to put your stats into. Magic gives you access to stronger spells and you can also get your second magic when you awaken which is around level 100. Strength gives access to fighting styles and allows you to use stronger melee attacks and you also get the option to get a second fighting soil along your first one. The same thing goes for weapons. You get access to stronger weapons and for your awakening, you get access to weapon aura. Now, awakenings are something you're gonna do around level 100. And if you're going for a mixed build, for example, if you're putting 40% or more of your stats into two stats, then for your awakening, you're gonna have the option to infuse magic with your weapon or fighting style. Oh yeah, and one more thing, this is very important so make sure you remember. Stat points do not affect your damage output. Let's say you put 100 points into magic. That's not gonna change how much damage your magic attacks do. The same thing applies to weapons and fighting cells. But levels do affect your damage. Now with that out of the way, let's get into your potential build options. On the screen, you should see 4 different builds. Now these builds are not something I typically recommend going for. Because putting all your stat points into one stat is just gonna be worse than going for a mixed build. So just try not to go for these builds. They're also not that versatile because you can only use magic or weapons or fighting styles. You cannot use magic and weapon or magic and fighting styles. It's also not really that fun to just use one thing, like I would much rather have magic and something else to use, so just remember that. Next up we have Paladin, Jelena, Knight and I cannot pronounce the last one so I'll just highlight it. And these three first builds are like really mid because you're putting stats into Vitality but the last one is actually gonna be pretty good 
for you if you want to use magic and fighting styles. And you also have the option to infuse your magic into fighting styles during your first awakening, which is actually pretty cool. Next up, we have Conjure again. I cannot pronounce the second one, but I'll highlight it again. And we have Seven. These three builds are pretty solid as well. The best one here is probably gonna be Conjure just because you have the option to go for magic and weapons. And you can infuse your weapons with magic during your first awakening. The second build isn't really that great because you really don't need weapons and fighting styles because they're kind of the same thing but not really but still you're gonna be better off with magic slash weapons or fighting styles. Now Savin is actually underrated because remember stat points do not affect your damage but the one thing that's holding Savin back is that you can't get access to high level moves from magic, weapons and fighting styles. You're always gonna be behind the people who are either a conjurer or any other mixed build that focuses on two stats. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about builds. If I were to rank the best builds, I would say that your top 3 best builds in no particular order are gonna be conjurer, warlock, and then builds that put all of their stat points into one stat like mages, berserker, and warrior. Also, if you wanna reset your stats, you're gonna have to reset them before level 80 and you can only do it once per file. This might change in the future, but that's how it is right now. Now you can go for whatever build it suits your playstyle and I'm not gonna judge you of course. And with builds out of the way, let's get into leveling. Alright, once you guys make it to the island over here, you better talk to that dude over there and then he's gonna give you a quest to kill some bandits over there. And the faster to level up to max is actually just do quests. Like, if you take a look at the way we are on the map right now, which is over here, and damn, bro, the map of this game is actually huge. Damn, like, damn. Okay, anyways, but if you take a look here, you can see exploration. So just do those quests. Like, once you're done exploring, you basically just hit max level. Like, and also do those main quests, which is actually gonna help you reach max level as well. The main story ones, but don't rush them because. Take your time bro, enjoy like, enjoy the quest and like, enjoy exploring as well, so don't rush them, unless you just like really want to get to max level. And there's actually some things you want to look out for, so like on some islands you're gonna see find some scrolls, and those scrolls are gonna lead you to like treasure chests, which are gonna give you items and stuff. And that's pretty much it for this video, if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and take care y'all.